Yeah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I really appreciate for Waterphone Foundation and the London Business School to organize this meaningful summit here. Uh, also, it's my great honor to share our idea on the mobile for good in emerging market. Yeah, we work in emerging market, yeah. So as telecom manufacturer, we work with Vodafone, BT, and EE, and the whole industry partner for the last 20 or 23 years in 140 countries. Uh, our, we have our target, the first target is uh, to bridge the digital divide. It means uh, communication with everyone. The second target is uh, broadband for all. This is also it's a broad committee. We are a member of the broad committee. This is also the, the goal of the broadband committee. It means in the year 2015, everybody should share the broadband. This is a very tough, uh, in fact. Uh, if I share the case in China, uh, as you know, uh, in China, 70% uh, population is very based on the countryside. It's a rural. So they have a less education. They struggle, still struggle for the food, uh, for the life. So uh, it's not easy for broadband for everyone. Uh, so since the year 2004, uh, Chinese government, they have the program, it's called communication with every village. So we attend this program with China Telecom, China Mobile, and China Unicom um, from the year 2004 until now. It's eight years already. And now 90% village, we cannot uh, cover for everyone. 90% of the village have the uh, broadband, uh, we call it information station. So this information station, it's really make a big sense for e-education and e-house, also the, we call it the e-trading. Uh, so it means the, the farmer, they can get, they can learn the technology of the agriculture by the e-learning. They just uh, went to the uh, information center uh, station. They cannot share this in the home now, but I think uh, uh, maybe in the next uh, five or 10 years, it's covered to the home. Yeah, in Europe, I think it's covered to the home, but in China, it's uh, for the village. So they can get in, uh, can learn the, the knowledge. Also, uh, some case in the city, uh, we can, the city people can learn the, the program, like the half a business program, they have the open uh, class. Also, we can, we can learn on the internet if the, it's open to the public. But for the countryside, they learn agriculture technology. The other things, it's e-health. And uh, I think in China, Chinese government decide uh, for the village, every farmer, they should have their electronic health document. This document, it means your, your whole history uh, health record, you, you did a, uh, uh, you did a, Annually check. Also, you did you did some. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Uh, CT scan. Uh, the whole document you can uh, take in the small slide. The chips. Also, you can store in your mobile. When you go to the different hospital, you know in China, I think uh, we have a very limited doctor. So the if the farmer they want to get the good doctor to help, so they can show their document to the doctor in this information center, they can, go, they can get the doctor a device, uh, the, this remote, a device uh, for what kind of medicine, what kind of uh, food they can talk, they can have. So this is, uh, can help the farmer. The other thing is it's uh, e-treating. This is a really, uh, I think it's growing very fast recently in China. Only one internet company, it's called Alibaba, yeah, maybe you know that, uh, I got their, their report, it's uh, only this internet company that provide e-trading uh, already 120 billion pound. Also they create 4.6 million jobs 
director jobs, the people can do the business based on their e-trading uh, uh, platform, also create uh, 13 million indirect jobs. It means uh, that the supply chain and the parking delivery. So in that way, the farmer, they can sell their product, the fruit and the vegetable, uh, based on this platform. This is uh, only one in, uh, internet company. We have a lot in China. I got this number. Yeah, so I think the, so in China, we said broadband for all is something like that. It's uh, to, for the village. Uh, I have some case uh, to share here. Okay, this is our, uh, I think how we do the, uh, our SCR in the different, uh, the structure. Well, we attend the national broadband. This is uh, the third one, but it's the uh, last two years. We are very busy working that one. Uh, we, uh, we had a program in Singapore, in Malaysia. That is government support this program, yeah, for the national broadband. Uh, it's really make big sense for this country. I think the, uh, they said every 10% investment will increase 1.3% GDP increase. Yeah, this is a great case. Instant network, um, it's uh, work with Vodafone. Uh, this morning I just uh, uh, to see that is uh, in that corner is our product, uh, work with Vodafone. Uh, that is very um, effective uh, mobile network. Uh, in the case in the earthquake or tsunami or typhoon, I heard uh, people said uh, last week uh, this equipment used uh, in Philippines uh, for uh, in the typhoon uh, situation. Uh, I work in Wenchuan earthquake. Do you, rem you remember in the year 2008, uh, May 12? It's very uh, terrible uh, earthquake in Wenchuan. I went there and stayed there 10 days. So I could realize how important in that time the mobile network can save the, time, the people's life. Um, you know, when you arrive there, you found it's uh, impossible for you said recover, recovery the network because everything is destroyed. Uh, so it's impossible to recover it. You only can do is rebuild, very uh, rebuild the necessary system. So that is a small system with three uh, suitcase. You can, uh, I think you can ship on the plane. Uh, also, in the 40 minutes, you can let this system work. They can support 24,000 subscriber, mobile subscri subscriber work. Now we work with Vodafone, we're training 100 people already and we're working at 12 country, it could be more. This is not only for, this is not only for the earthquake or, or typhoon, also it's for some ruler side, also for some, like some conference, uh, the, if they want good coverage, also there's a good solution. So we call, uh, so we start in the year 2010, now it's, uh, it's already launched in some countries. Next one, I think, I think most people know this, uh, phone lady uh, in, in, in Bangladesh. Uh, in fact, uh, this case already delivered in a lot of countries. This case started in the year 2008. In the very beginning, it's just to make the connect the, the people in the village because it's, it's impossible for the people to, to have the phone. So the lady bring the future phone, it's a very basic phone. They just can make call and send a short message. So the lady bring the phone to the, to the village, to the home, to make the family member can talk to each other, can send a short message to each other. That is four years ago. But uh, now we can deliver the broadband service. It means the, the lady bring the smartphone uh, to the village. Uh, so to the village, to the home. So the farmer, they can do the, the e-business. The, also, they can do e-health and e-education and e-trading uh, on, on the phone. So this is a, this is a real case uh, in Bangladesh. So this is an e-health pr program in India. 
Uh, in India, we work with uh, 1,000 schools. Most of the school is in the rural side. Uh, I think it's so difficult for them to, to reach the world out, uh, uh, from their village. So we provide a computer, we provide access, um, um, how to say, uh, internet access. Also, we provide a training program for them. So now I think uh, uh, 300,000 students can, can, can share this uh, platform and so can get good quality education. So we will continue uh, this program in India, also other countries. Yeah, this is uh, something happening in Japan. Uh, it means uh, I think I was there uh, last year. Uh, in the, ver in, the in the very beginning, our employee work there also, they have the big fear because it's not only earthquake, also it's uh, nuclear pollution. Uh, so we, uh, we have the team went to there. First is help our customer to rebuild the network. Uh, also to help our employee can work there uh, uh, stable and work there. We have a 450, uh, 460 employee work there. So uh, also we provide some mental help for them uh, because it's quite young people. Uh, but I really appreciate for Japanese people. I think they are more calm and they, are more, they can accept the situation. So uh, I learned a lot in this earthquake. Yeah, I stayed there about a week. Uh, 